Hello, Lightning. Welcome home. Hope as time. Once long ago, we fought side by side, bound by a common destiny. He was just a boy then, kicked around by fate, scared and angry. But we became friends, and then he grew up. He was going to be humanity's great leader, the one who'd lead us all to a brighter future. But it didn't work out the way any of us expected. A lot of things changed during my long sleep. When I woke, the Hope who I'd seen become a man was a boy again. He was up here in lonely command of the Ark, and this was where he told me about God's plans for the two of us and the world. Brunevelza, God of Light, has made a decision. The gates are open and chaos has flooded through, consuming the world and everything in it. Not even God can stop it, and he isn't going to try. Instead, he's going to build a brand new world. But he needs people to live in it. What would be the point of a world without souls? That's where you come in, Light. You're the last piece in the puzzle. You're the savior. It's a simple role. You have to rescue as many people as you can from this world and lead them to the new one. It's an incredible opportunity. You can bring salvation to hundreds, maybe thousands. In return, you'll get your chance to bring Sarah back. A deal, huh? I scratch God's back and he gives me what I want. My sister. He's giving you a chance, no guarantees. I know it isn't right using your sister, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? God is using my dead sister as a bargaining chip. Something like that should infuriate me to no end, but for whatever reason, I don't feel angry. It's like there's a hole where she used to be. I think I know what you mean. I'm the same way. It all happened such a long time ago. I remember it clearly, but the feelings, they're gone. Maybe that's how God wants it. Maybe emotions and his servants just distract us from what we're supposed to do. So he got rid of them for us. Maybe he did. And maybe returning me to childhood was part of his plan too. But we can't expect to understand everything he does. Of course I had to accept God's deal. What choice did I have? It was my fault that Sarah died. If the only way I could save her was by doing God's will, so be it. With Hope Estime to guide me, I began my holy mission. Liberating the souls of the living from a dying world and ushering them into a new one. The Savior, servant of mighty Benevelza himself. Light? Light, what's the matter? What is it? Are you alright? I'm fine, just reminiscing. Five hundred years ago, chaos was unleashed, and our world began to be consumed. Five short centuries, that's what it took to destroy all of creation. Now there's barely anything left at all. And when the Savior has used all her light, the bells will toll and the world will end. Is that what you told me? Yes. But when that time comes, Bunevelza will finally awaken, and he'll bend his great will to create a new world. Right. And in the meantime, I've got some souls to save. Yes, as many as you can. Remember, every soul you leave behind will be lost for all eternity. As long as you're here, you're safe. You can rest and not worry about what's happening in the world below. 
When you're in the Ark, time ceases to flow for anyone but us. Is that all God can do? He can stop the flow of time up here, but he's helpless to prevent the world from being destroyed. Yes. In 13 days, God will reawaken. It'll all be over then, and no power in the universe can stop it. But the problem is, the world may have even less time than that. It doesn't happen at the same time? It should, but the world has been weakening rapidly under the onslaught of the chaos. The pace of the destruction is accelerating. Your problem is, if the world ends too soon, you won't have enough time to save all the souls you can. You have to delay the end for as long as possible. Now listen carefully, Light. What I'm going to tell you is very important. As the Savior, you have a special life force. I call it Aradia. It's the power of God's light. It gives you your powers. And much more. If you offer your life force, this Aradia, you can give energy to the world and delay the final destruction for a while. I can delay the destruction, but not avoid it forever. When God wakes after the 13th day, the world is screwed whatever I do. But what does it matter how many days are left? The end stays the same. Why not keep the Aradia for myself? Because if you did that, and the world ends before the 13th day, God will deem that you have failed. Then what will happen to your bargain? Will he still deliver on his promise if he believes that you failed to deliver on yours? Right, the bargain. In other words, if I don't keep the world alive for 13 days, I don't save Sarah. And not just Sarah either. The entire human race might be lost. So do you see, Light? Aradia is the key. You have to gather as much of it as you possibly can. And the way you do that is by saving people's souls. So that's what I've got to do. Save souls so that I can save Sarah. Yes, exactly. Remember how much snow has changed? Here at the end of the world, there are many people like him caught in the grip of despair, their hearts shackled by regret and longing. If you reach out and help them with their troubles, you can break those shackles. Then their souls will be released. They'll be free to be reborn in the new world, and in return, your savior life force will grow. So that's what he wants. Rescue as many souls as I can before the world ends and takes humanity with it. My mission. you with anything? What is it? No more lectures today. You can head for the surface anytime you want. Just remember though, you have to come back here every morning at six. You're giving the savior a curfew, is that it? There is a good reason. I'll explain it to you when the time comes. We can use the warp machine to send you back down. Just step in front of the device whenever you're ready to leave.
By using the warp device, I can teleport you back down to the surface. I'm worried about Snow. I should go to his palace. You could, but I suggest you visit another city instead. You want me to abandon Snow? Down on the surface, time is stopped for everyone. The palace will still be on high alert. It will be next to impossible to get anywhere close to Snow. You're saying I should let things cool down first. I'm going to send you to Luxarian. It's the capital of the world. Or, what's left of it anyway. I'll place you inside an inbound train. When the train stops at the station, you can get off with the other passengers. Something has happened in front of the station. All right, do it. You're surprisingly calm for someone who's about to venture into unknown territory. But you were always brave. Brave? I don't feel brave. I don't feel anything. No worry, no confusion, no fear. That's good. But you still need to stay safe. Luxarian, a bustling metropolis, the divine city of light in the holy sea of salvation. It's the last bastion of peace and order in a dying world. Most of the people who live here worship the almighty Benevelza. The city is governed in his name by a powerful religious sect known as the Order of Salvation. God's followers believe in ultimate redemption and their faith helps keep the fires of hope burning. But even in this pious city, a darkness lurks untouched by divine light. A heresy that rejects the teachings of Supreme Benevelza. The Divine City doesn't look so holy now. This was no accident. The girl was left here intentionally. search of the city's video database, but I'm coming up blank so far. Doesn't matter. I'll just find out myself. Luxarian. The divine city of light. Is that what they call it? Trouble is, the brightest lights cast the darkest shadows.
like someone's targeting the Savior. Let's see if we can find out anything from the crime scene. 